Our special series, The Energy Equation, continuing now as we turn to an alternative energy source, algae, converting green goop essentially into black gold. That's what California-based company Origin Oil is doing through its breakthrough technology in an effort to become a true competitor to petroleum. CEO Rick Eckleberry joining us from our Los Angeles bureau with more. Riggs, good to have you here. First of all, because I've been reading about this for years, I mean, talk to us about the process of actually turning algae into biofuel. What's involved? Well, Carol, of course, algae grows very easily. Uh, we have it in our pools and so forth, but it's a big challenge uh, doing so industrially. There's a huge amount of water involved, and it's a process that uh, you want to try and get as much daily harvest as possible at the lowest price you can get. But if I'm correct, uh, it's not really your main concern, your main focus right now. I mean, you guys are primarily concerned with taking algae and turning it into oil. Exactly right. We are a technology company that focuses on essentially selling picks and shovels to the, the prospectors, the people who are now aggressively building out these algae systems. And so our primary role here is to take what's essentially looks like Kool-Aid, and how do you get the Kool-Aid out of the water? That's the challenge. So we dewater the algae and extract the valuable products. It's called fractionation. And eventually you get all this, this wonderful things from nutritionals to chemicals and, of course, fuel and fertilizers. Riggs, with so many of these alternative forms of energy, it's, you know, whether they really produce enough fuel or are cost efficient and, you know, what kind of stuff is thrown back into the environment. Walk us through those three. Sure. Well, the first thing, of course, is, you know, is, is it really cost effective? And the answer is not yet by a long shot. So some estimates put it at perhaps double the price of oil. To mitigate that, of course, we can do things like, like use it for more valuable products like chemicals, bioplastics, and so forth. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, nutritionals. But, uh, you know, eventually we're going to have to step up and make fuel from it. What algae's current value is really in mitigating the, the CO2 emissions of all the fossil fuels. And we know now that we're going to have a fossil fuel boom. And we were looking forward to having about a third of our carbon being absorbed by, by nuclear energy or at least not being emitted. Well, that's, that's in doubt. And so natural gas, oil, coal are going to boom. We've got to do something about the CO2. And that will drive algae, which is the cheapest and fastest way to absorb that CO2. Well, I don't know if the costs are off by a long shot, right? Because $200 a barrel, a lot of guys are forecasting that already now for the end of the year. And even if uh, you don't hit $200 a barrel uh, of oil at the end of the year, that's just your cost equivalent now of producing it, uh, this, this algae into fuel. I mean, I'm assuming that you'll find ways to make that cheaper as oil only gets more and more expensive. Exactly. We can scale up. Uh, we can get a lot more efficient. Right now, the algae industry is very uh, fractured between various vendors and players. And you're going to see a consolidation and a single solution being proposed to the various growers. Uh, we're working with a very aggressive company funded by a large mining company in Australia that is going after this carbon sequestration market. And they are, you know, they're really out for blood. They know they got to do it, and algae is the best way. Riggs, how does what's going on in Japan right now and the focus on nuclear energy and the questions about the future of nuclear energy, how might that impact what you guys are doing right now and the, and the potential for algae? Well, of course, Japan itself has been very, very interested in algae for some time. They have a lot of unused rice paddies, for example. There's a tremendous inventory of potential places they can make algae. And uh, some of the best uh, research in algae has come out of uh, some, some uh, Tsukuba University, for example, in near Tokyo. So I think that they are going to be really intense about algae production. But also what we see is, once again, nuclear, which is kind of a hothouse uh, fuel and needs all this government help is going to get even less help now. So it's going to go towards the least cost, which natural gas, of course. And, and the vision for algae really is to brown wash, which means basically to, to make it a little bit less harmful to the environment. And that's our role in, 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 in the short and medium term. And it will build our industry by playing that role. Hey, Riggs, thanks so much for joining us. Riggs Eckleberry there, the CEO of Origin Oil.